Holy ants. frick, that's a big ant. Oh, dude. There's lots of bugs here. <laughs> So it's been like two weeks since we last vlogged and a lot has happened. So last time you were with us, we were in Surin at the uh, elephant camp. Um, that was an amazing experience, it was mm -hmm. so cool. After Surin, we took a bus 12 plus hours up to Chiang Mai from Surin um, and then spent about four days in Chiang Mai exploring. We tried to do some of the touristy things. So we went to the Doi Anthanon National Park mm -hmm. Um, however, it was extremely cloudy um, and foggy. Yeah, we and tried. And if you don't know what that is, it's like the highest point in in Thailand. In Thailand, and so there's like these beautiful pagodas. Um, you can see like a lot of the country from up there. Mm -hmm. Like the views are amazing. There's beautiful architecture. There's beautiful landscaping. But we wouldn't know that because it yeah. was literally. Uh, foggy, you couldn't even see like 20 feet in front no. of you. So um, you had to wait until you got to the base of the pagoda to even be able to look up and see the top of it, which was kind of right. funny. But um, it was an experience, and yeah. one good thing did come out of that because we ended up seeing a waterfall, which is always one of our favorite things to do anywhere, anywhere that we are. So mm -hmm. that was pretty fun. While we were in Chiang Mai, we bought tickets to take a, a bus from Chiang Mai all the way to Luang Prabang, Lao. We got on a sleeper bus for 12 hours. And Just some, ever crossing the Lao border, right, the Thai Lao border. Right, and somewhere amidst all of this, we got sick. Yep. Um, different illnesses. I just had like a sore throat thing going on that was painful for like 24 hours and then I was fine. But Thomas got some sort of stomach bug mm -hmm. and usually not a big deal. Last 24 hours then you feel fine. But he was like laying on the floor vomiting out his gut sick for like three days mm -hmm. um which was kind of scary it sucked um yeah. especially because once we got into Laos at first I was like it's fine like he's gonna throw up everything he takes in for the first day and be fine but he didn't stop so I was googling like hospitals in Laos international hospitals and there was nothing everyone said if you're sick you better get on a plane and fly to Bangkok because the healthcare in mm -hmm. Laos was so bad so we were pretty scared for a minute there but Obviously everything turned out okay. We ended up going to that hospital basically just to get medicine. Yeah. And fun fact, the doctor consultation, the medicine, everything in, was less than 20 bucks. Yeah, $18. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Anyways, Lao, even though Thomas especially didn't get to see much of it, <laughs> yeah. and I didn't really either, it was beautiful. We loved that. I, I loved that country. But it's beautiful. The people are beautiful. Everyone was so nice to us. Um, it's, it was imp imperialized by the French, so all the architecture is really just like unique and incredible. Mm -hmm. And the views, it's mountainous, it's green, it's amazing. Um, but there I got to do Kwangsi Waterfall, which was amazing. Um, and when we got to the top, we even got to, none of the tourists really go up to the top. So we of course went up and kind of watched the locals for a bit. There was just like a local party going on. They like offered us beer, we were playing with the kids. It was a lot of fun. Um, okay, so there's just part of the waterfall that like you're not supposed to swim in because it's considered like holy water or sacred water. Um, so this part at the top where the locals were was considered sacred water. We don't totally understand it because a lot of the like local children were swimming it in us, swimming in it and mm. stuff. But anyways, of course we're not going to disrespect that. Res disrespect that. So, but there was like this log and I wanted to try to walk across it and I totally would have made it. It was on top of the water. But then the, there was like this group of local guys who just started like yelling and I thought they were yelling no, like for me to stop. And I was super scared because I didn't, of course, want to offend anyone. And so I turned around and I tried to start walking back and of course I'm falling. But it turns out they were like, like trying to like cheer me on to get across the log. I don't know, whatever, it was embarrassing. But it was funny. It happened twice. It happened twice. 
Um, and then besides that, we, I got to go see, Thomas wasn't there for any of this, which is sad, but um, I got to see some um, which is like that, the time in the morning at, ooh, Holy ants. Holy frick, that's a big ant. Oh, There's lots of bugs here. <laughs> um, anyways. But anyways, in the morning, <laughs> at sunrise, the Thai people all come out and offer food to the monks, and that's the monks' food for the day. Um, so they kind of just walk the streets, and that was really cool to watch. I, I find a lot of interest in monks, Buddhist monks, I don't know why, but that was pretty cool to see. Um, and then we kind of people watched around the river because that's like kind of the bloodline of Lao is the Mekong River. There's multiple river rivers, but we got to see a lot of just local life just sitting there watching people. And then lastly, I got to do some language practice with um, some Laotian people. At first I was with some older high school boys who answered a lot of my questions and who we kind of got to converse with. Of course they wanted to talk about Donald Trump and why? So we talked about that a bit and I got to learn a little bit about Lao culture. They got to ask us a bunch of questions. And then I got to work with some younger kids, which was super fun because we just got to do literal like English practice. Um, and I learned the Lao words for everything. They learned the English words for everything that we talked about. So that was, I recommend that to anyone going to any country because it's a really cool way to get to know the locals, get to know the culture, ask all the questions you want to ask and just be more than just a tourist, I would say. After that, we took two flights from Lao Bangkok and then Bangkok to Phuket and then from Phuket we got on um, a ferry and took that to Koh Yao Yai um, and it was completely rainy the entire time it was just like no visibility <laughs> it was storming like crazy there was this no visibility one hour ferry turned into a two and a half hour ferry because yeah. There were like five guys trying to see anything. <laughs> However, 45 minutes of the two and a half hours was him trying to parallel park oh, sure. at the pier. Um, and then from there, we took a taxi to the other side of that island. We got on this little <laughs> long tail boat and it took us across in like five minutes to Ko Yao Noi, which is where we're staying. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where we are right now. Everyone is super nice here. Uh -huh. um, literally, like we read beforehand that this island has some of the nicest people in Thailand, which is saying something, but right. we're uh we really didn't expect them to be this nice they're everything's just incredibly been nice so easy it's interesting mm -hmm. because just to give a little background first of all like our transportation here it was like five dollars for the first boat mm. how much is the taxi like three dollars per person yeah and then the boat here was about a dollar per person yep. um so super cheap again one of our favorite parts of southeast asia why we came here mm -hmm. um but again like when we got here everyone was willing to help um, and it's actually a Muslim fishing island, village, um, island. which is interesting because we haven't been around the Muslim culture very much, which, so this is a really cool experience for us. Um, but right now is Ramadan, so everything's kind of like dead and like they shut down the electricity all day and I don't know, I think it's pretty interesting and I think it's a really cool way to disconnect and like yeah. just see, I don't know, like that would never happen in America. Mm -hmm. Things wouldn't just shut down for... I mean, even on Christmas now, yeah. you know, and this is like, I don't even know how long Ramadan lasts. It's been so cool so far. The beach is basically ours right now. No one yeah. else is out there, which is awesome. Um, and we're staying in these little bungalows and excited to explore this island and then go island hop for the next three weeks. We're going to be here for the next couple of days, snorkeling, kayaking, riding motorbikes around. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to take you guys along with us. Um, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I really want to show you guys this spot. This is really cool. We found a sign that says Ko Yao Noi Sunset Mountain. So you just drive up this hill uh, until you get to a restaurant, essentially. And then the whole, pretty much like 270 degrees, um, you've got this beautiful panoramic view of um, all of the islands surrounding this island. Uh, it's really beautiful. It's not um, a tall mountain at all, but it's the tallest one on the island. Yeah. And the restaurant's closed, so no one's up here, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so we got it all to ourselves. So that's our view. It's more of our view. It's 
So we're just kind of showing you guys around. Here's the cute little restaurant. It's completely open air. Overlooking the um, the water between Ko Yao Yai and Ko Yao Noi. Um, that pier in the middle around there is Chong La Pier. That's where we drove to uh, to take a long tail from that island to this island. And then we kind of just drove about 10 minutes to our hotel. And it's just incredibly green. Um, it's very dense. Um, yeah, this place is pretty cool. So this is the view from our hotel. We're in a bungalow just over here and then you walk across the street and poof, you're right there. Poof, 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 poof. So today is Thursday and um, we are gonna go snorkeling today, uh, which is uh, one of our other favorite things to do. Um, yep. We're going to four islands, five islands. Mm, yeah. Yep, and we're gonna snorkel all of them. So we'll take you along with us. What happened? <laughs> I got stung by a jellyfish on my face. <laughs> Smile, friend.